All right, now I want to talk about the water cycle and thunderstorm formation. So when you have the water cycle, you know, a typical day, you've got some humidity along the ground, maybe a little warm air, especially in the summertime, more in the summertime. So you'll get some evaporation, that liquid water along the ground uh, changes to a water vapor. It goes up high in the sky, it rises, and then when it rises, it cools, and then you get little tiny liquid particles to form up higher in the sky, and that's condensation. You get billions of those particles to form, and it makes clouds, and these clouds build and get taller and taller and become a cumulonimbus cloud or a thunderstorm cloud. So when you do have enough condensation, you get all those particles together, eventually they start running together and they get bigger and bigger, and then they get heavy, so they fall out of the sky, and that's precipitation, and then you get runoff and accumulation, and that's the water cycle. Now sometimes you really rev this up. Sometimes you have some very warm, humid air, and you get these tall clouds to form, very tall, and you'll get some charge, electrical charge to build up. It's called static electricity. Kind of like when you take a balloon and rub it on your head, stick it to the wall, that's static electricity, keeping it there. And so the same effect's happening in general. Now let's say we got a negative charge on the bottom of the cloud, positive charge on the ground, and so those two want to meet, and eventually they do. You'll get a little bit of a, what's called a step leader to come out of the cloud, and then lightning will travel up towards it, and sometimes lightning can actually go back and forth between the cloud and the ground. That's kind of rare, but that does happen. And so it's a lightning bolt is tens of thousands of degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than the surface of the sun, and so it can do some amazing things. It can burn objects, it can melt objects. This is a picture of a tree that was struck by lightning in Newport News years ago, and so it likely had some sap in it. That sap probably boiled and made the tree explode. So this was an interesting example locally. The person said they heard a loud boom, looked outside, and they saw this. Of course, uh, there wasn't too much scorching with this one, but sometimes the tree starts on fire or there's some scorching. So that is the water cycle and thunderstorms. All right, thanks for joining us. Hopefully you learned something today. Just want to give you some ideas about what we do as meteorologists and a little bit about the tools and technology we use. And so uh, thank you for joining us today. And always study hard in school. I'm meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler, Wavy TV.